Leela, thank you so much for sitting down with us to talk with us for Women in Witness. Well, thank you for having me. You are um, head of school, principal of Arthur Chappelle High School, my alma mater. I'll be very honest with everyone. And um, if I take nothing away from high school, which I got much out of my Chappelle experience, but um, it was that motto of days probably did it. So I'm very grateful for that. And I'm grateful that you are there keeping that tradition and legacy alive. Thank you. So, tell us um, a little bit about your faith life and, and where you've come from. Because like I said, as, as principal, you're now leading these hundreds of girls. Right. Um, yeah. So I want to hear about your story. Sure. Well, um, I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia, so I'm not a native New Orleanian, um, like some people might think. Actually, people think I'm a Chappelle alum. But, oh. uh, but I went to Catholic school, kindergarten through 12th grade. Mm -hmm. And, you know, growing up, we went to church when it was convenient. It wasn't um, something that was necessarily a priority for uh, for my family, even though they went to Catholic schools, and but they, they sent us to Catholic school, I think, in hopes that we would get that Catholic formation. And I really didn't come to start practicing my faith on my own until I was a senior in mm -hmm. high school, and just was having some issues with some friends, and um, just kind of was having a really hard time with it. I was right about, you're just about to graduate to go off to college, and um, so something inside of me, now I can see it was the Holy Spirit, which is kind of nudging me to go talk to my campus minister there. And she um, she just started talking about God and the sacraments and just the importance of, of all of that in our life and just something was just really sparked in me and um, started attending a youth group. And then when I went off to college, you know, I kind of had that faith foundation that really started to, to grow from there. And mm -hmm. ironically enough, um, one of my campus ministers in high school in Atlanta is a Chappelle alum. Wow. And so, Things just really have come full circle. Full circle, and I I pass her picture every day in our <laughs> alumni hallway. And this woman who is so influential in in your faith and my faith. Right? Wow, that so, is that is God divining yeah. things in, in a small world. Right? Do you find that that story of um, kind of that that struggle with your faith, or not struggle with your faith, but mm -hmm. just kind of a, an indifference towards it, and mm -hmm. then finding it has, has helped you when you, because before you were a school leader, you worked in campus ministry, right? Um, and working with some of the, the young people um, that you worked with? Sure, because I know where they're at. You know, it's like, a, I know, being in high school is tough. Being a teenager mm -hmm. these days is incredibly tough with everything, with social media and the culture, and we definitely live in a secular culture. Yes. and to go to church or to practice your faith just isn't, quote, the cool thing right. to do. And it's very difficult to stand up for your morals and values in today's society. So it is very easy to fall into that indifference. And so what I really strive to do is you know, to let our young women, especially at Chappelle or, or even in, when I worked at another high school, you know, just letting our students know that they are known and that they are loved, you know, not only by the people around them, but by God. And once they come to know that, then their faith can really come to grow and flourish from that point. But they long so badly to know that they are loved mm -hmm. and to know that people see them, they notice them. And then if they can know that God loves them infinitely no matter what they've done, then everything can change from there and they can completely transform. Yeah. yeah. And that's a, you do hear that um, from young people and, and you read it in culture that there's just so much negative out there and mm -hmm. it's so easy to fall into the trap, particularly um, if you don't have a, a really strong faith into the, I'm not skinny enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not talented enough, I'm not smart enough. When, when you are able to help young women realize that they're God's princess, God created them, right. you know, and he wouldn't have done it any, anything less than was perfect for them. I mean, that's a beautiful role that, that you have to be able to help young women realize that. Right, right, it is. And it's, it's a challenge, again, because sure. of what they're faced with every single day and to help them rise above that and to realize that at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is that they are a beloved daughter of God. When you're in a, a Catholic school and, and people forget that Catholic schools were forming hearts and consciences right. that were forming minds too. Mm -hmm. um, do you find that there's a, a, the girls struggle with the idea of their faith and reason, or is it something that you, you really strive at, at a Catholic school to, to bring together? We really strive to bring it together, and we we want our Catholic faith and all those morals and values to really permeate everything on campus, not mm -hmm. just 
in our religion classes. And you know, we want to make everything that we do authentically Catholic and Christian, you yeah. know, because that really is what is most important, you know, being in a Catholic school. I think that's why parents send their children to Catholic schools so they can have that, mm -hmm. that formation in that environment. And um, so we really do try to integrate it in, in all different areas. And for you personally, we're, we're called as Catholics to be lifelong learners, mm -hmm. lifelong grow to grow in our relationship with God our entire mm -hmm. lives. How do you benefit from, from being around the young women and the families and the teachers and the faculty? How has that impacted your faith life? They just really inspire me um, each and every day, even on the days when it's really hard or I'm really frustrated about something or yeah. they're really long days. The girls just have an incredible way of just bringing a smile to your face, even if they're having bad days, but mm -hmm. just to, to see them in the hallways or to, to see them at lunch or to strike up conversations with them. Um, or they just pop into my office. You know, they're just, they are on their own journey and helping them to you know, walk through that journey from eighth grade to 12th grade year is mm -hmm. really, um, it's really a gift and a blessing. Those to, are really formative years. They're huge. <laughs> they're huge they're years. They're huge years and they're very difficult years and very trying years, but those are the years when they really you know, come to find themselves and where God's leading them and to be able to be a part of that is really incredible and it's very uplifting and to see that there is hope for yeah. our future because sometimes in our society I think we question that I and, would say yes. but to see that you know, they are the future mm -hmm. and it's been you know a great gift to be a part of that now I have a question for you sure are you a Falcons fan or a Saints fan oh that is the ultimate question <laughs> when I first moved here that that was I got a lot of flack for I'm being from sure. Atlanta. I'm so sure. my answer to that is I'm a Braves fan. We were okay. all about mm -hmm. baseball when I was growing up. Like you know, They were mm -hmm. in the World Series and, and all that. So we were a huge baseball family. <laughs> and um, we actually, I've never been to a Falcons game. Okay, well then you're safe. No, actually I lied. I'm, well, last Thanksgiving, my parents and my sister came in town and the Falcons were playing at the here. Superdome. Yes. So I surprised them with tickets. So it was really okay. a Saints game that I went to, and not okay. a Falcons game. Then so we'll, we'll you, you, you're yeah. absolved from that. Yeah, I, can, I think I can live here no. without, um, <laughs> without any flack now, right? <laughs> no, and I, and I ask that, you know, a pure jest, because I, I think that it, as we're talking about the seriousness of everything that we're talking about in our faith life, it's important that we express ourselves as, as fully human, and I think that Absolutely. that's a great thing to witness for our young people, whether it's the girls at Chappelle or the young men or girls at any of our other Catholic sure. schools, to know that they can be Catholic and still be fully human and fully engaged in society, as long as they keep that knowledge of you know whose they are and, and who's exactly. calling us. Because God calls us to laugh and have fun, so right. it's all it's all good. <laughs> well, I'm glad you you took my question in jest. Oh, and yeah, it wasn't the first time that it. anybody. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. So, but thank you so much for sitting down with us, and thank, thank you, you for um, continuing to witness every day your faith, so that. Um, a new generation of young women every year can come in and, and learn from you and, and the faculty at the school. Well, thank you, Sarah. Appreciate it. <laughs>